Welcome to a new video. It's a new day. Well, it's the same day. But, yeah. We're going to cut up towards Blackpool Town Centre from Gin Square Roundabout. But, would you just take a look at that? Oh yeah. I can't do it sound too healthy. Yeah, would you just take a look at that? So we've got a uh, play area yeah a park that I've never been to before and yep yeah, going up towards the uh, in square roundabout now with the uh, three model Spitfire. Not sure what that hotel is there. So, oh, Savoy Hotel. That's the one. Porsche, very nice. Yeah, right, Thwaites is the gain. Yeah, we're going to take the walk up Dixon Road. No, sorry. I'll go for a walk, come on, come on. I think I slightly changed my eyes, I'll actually have a walk. Up the prom from King Square Roundabout. I was thinking of Dixon Road, but I have a nice walk along the prom instead. I walk up towards North Pier. Then we can enjoy what Blackpool Promenade has to offer. And of course there's some flowers over there. Do a quick uh, pit stop. Would you just take a look at that view? Yeah, would you just take a look at that for a view? Absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing view. On the coastal line.
you got like a uh, struct structural type thing around here. Absolutely gorgeous. So peaceful now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that today. Everyone will uh, actually head down. Well, I might. That fascinating view we've got. Just as long as I don't go sliding down here. the fact that these walk about to what a lot of them actually turn out to be a bit of a vlog really as well as walk about yeah take a look at this down here oh god let me see you guys Yeah, we're going to have a walk up towards North Pier. I'll stop the video here for a bit whilst I have a bit of a break. And we'll actually walk back along the prom. Let's see if the prom's any busier compared to what it was yesterday. Now, uh, with the sun being out. Hey, something that feels nice being able to use a GoPro for filming. It's like all the uh, freestyle stuff and everything that I can do. Probably won't get much 
flooding off the sea compared to what you would do maybe up the south end. Up this end it feels like a higher sea wall. Whereas if you go towards Blackpool itself, it feels a bit lower. That's probably why they've not really done much work to this seawall. Don't get me wrong, it probably needs it. I mean, looking at it, it's starting to crumble and everything, but there's probably a lot more life in it. So they probably don't need to spend the uh, sea defense money on it at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure for the pace that there's a slight incline. So when the sea's at its highest point, there's actually a bit more give way for the pace just in case. Yeah, I'll tell you something, it's a fair world walk this. It was a gorgeous walk. Part of me rambling on of course. So yeah, we're still walking up towards North Pier. I mean, you just look at that for a view. It's absolutely stunning. And in background you can see Blackpool Tower. I mean, just look at that. Yeah, we're a bit further up now. The GoPro's just done a uh, firmware update as well. So we've walked a bit further up from there. Can't walk from this way. But just look at that. So lucky to be in Blackpool sometimes. The views that you get of being by the seaside are just incredible. <laughs> now forget about the buildings for a bit and just look at that view. Yeah, this is where the uh, old sea wall now will meet the new one. That's really short then, because it just feels slightly higher up around here. Because the sea needs to come a bit further. I think that's probably why. So it's have to it have to come further here.
by the time it reaches here it probably won't be as strong as what it would be if it was up there but then also this is like a first line of defence because it would have to try and get up there yeah it's all wet and sandy around here and all Here we go, here's the new sea wall. On new section of it anyway. So you can actually see more of it now. Yeah, so it's not. It doesn't feel as high up because uh it's got this safety rail in place. So you can actually like look over. Whereas that, with it being higher up, you can't actually see over. It's a little bit tall. I thought there was a bit of height difference somewhere. It's just so fascinating. Just the views that you get. And since we've got a bit of sunlight, the ground's drying up a little bit. But I'll tell you something, when it starts hitting towards the end of March, April, May time, we'll start seeing a difference there. The ground will start drying up, thankfully. Just hope it doesn't get too dry, you know, for like farms and stuff like that. Because uh, otherwise it's going to start Im having an impact on us, like fruit, veg and stuff like that. Not I don't really pay much interest in it, <laughs> into that sort of thing. Whereas if someone's got a bit more in the know of how it all works or whatnot, maybe you can maybe share, shed a bit of light on it. But yeah, it's not really my uh, cup of tea as such, but... You hear about it on the news that like getting so much rain can affect farms and stuff like that. Uh, like just before Christmas, that there was something going on about potatoes. Like with the ground being so wet, it could affect potatoes and all that sort of stuff. So. Video here. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit subscribe, don't forget to ding on that notification bell. I'll see you all in the next one.